There's only a couple times I actually feel like I'm running that fast, and it just wasn't those two runs. One back pistol, handoff, Hines, zone run over the right side. Hines, he's got a crease, 40 yard line, 35 30. He is going to make three at the 20, 10, touchdown state. A magnificent run of 48 yards by Naheem Hines, his second of the half, and state's up 25 to 14. Hey, that's two for you, Garner. Let's go, baby. Hello, I'm Garner Mayor Ronnie Williams. We're here today for another episode of what we call Great People in Garner. With me today is Naheem Hines of the State Wolfpack team. Naheem, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. I'm great. Let's jump right into by asking about the season with the Wolfpack. The team's had its ups and downs, and you all have generated a lot of excitement here among the fans. How would you assess the team's season so far? And I should tell viewers that we're taping it just at, at, at the end of the regular season, which finished with a victory over UNC. <laughs> Um, the season had a lot of ups and downs. I think the, our season was similar to Garner's. Uh, we started off well. Garner didn't start off as well, but we both finished well. And uh, Garner's in the fourth round this week. And I think we had ups and downs, but uh, no matter what happened, we never we never uh, gave up, and we just always finished. Okay, you were just honored as an ACC player, all ACC player. How does it feel to receive this honor? Um, it's it's an honor. I'm blessed. Uh, but really, from that honor, it's just a lot of great people around me. Uh, Coach Kitchings. Uh, our running back coach and our offensive coordinator called some great plays and got me ready to play. And uh, most, I'm most thankful, thankful for the offensive line. Uh, those guys have protected me all season. They opened up some holes, so I'm always excited to have those guys. What are the areas this season you think you saw the most improvements? Um, probably ball security. I don't think I put the ball in the ground much, and I think I protected the ball a lot better. I remember looking at film a lot last year, and I was a little bit loose with uh, the ball. And I think, really, I worked on uh, breaking a lot more tackles this year, too. What big play stands out the most for you this year? Uh, probably the two touchdowns uh, this weekend at UNC were really big. Your hand off Hines, he's into the secondary, 50 yard line, 45, down the right side, 40, breaks free, 20, he's going all the way. Touchdown, Naheem Hines, 54 yards, and the Pack's got the lead. I really made a play when we needed it, and I also think the uh, kickoff return at Louisville, even though I didn't score, it set up a great field position in Lamar Jackson, and that offense is a great offense, so I feel like we showed up when we needed it most. You also run track. Tell us about that. Uh, it's a struggle. It's definitely a struggle getting from uh, football shape to track shape, and uh, I have a great coach, uh, Coach Danny Peoples. Uh, he actually went to state, too, and Coach Allen Johnson. They've done a great job of uh, turning me around and get me in shape, and uh, I really only have like four weeks to train for a championship, so I think they do a great job of turning everything around. So how does track help you as a football player? Uh, there's some things that track teach me that I can't get from football. Really, it's just the mental toughness with your body. With track, you know that you're about to run hard and you know uh, you might have a certain amount of sets and your legs are telling you you can't do it. And uh, with track, it helps you fight through a lot of uh, things your body tell when your body tells you no. Um, I run the 100 meter dash. Uh, last year, I was fortunate enough to be first team All-ACC. I got third and uh, got second team All-ACC in the 60. And then uh, really, I think my biggest event is the 4x100 relay. Uh, we're two-time ACC champions. and I'm not going to say I have a big part in it and I run first leg, but uh, I have some great people around me that help uh, bring it home. And uh, we got seventh in nationals my freshman year, and last year we had a little bit of a debacle with the handoff. But I think uh, we'll be back, and I, I'm predicting that we'll make it back to NCAA finals this year. Do you consider yourself a, tra a track player who plays football or a football player who plays track? Um, I'm a football. Yes, I'm a football player that uh, runs track. I'm a football player who likes to compete. Uh, a lot of people like give guy, uh, track guys who play football the track mold, but uh, really I feel like I was a football player first and I ran track to actually help myself with football. So I always tell myself I'm a football player that runs track. This is Love trying to use that speed. He's a home run hitter and he may have just hit one here. Bryce Love, touchdown, Stanford. Well, growing up, you ran track with Bryce Love, who attended Wake Forest High. Yes, I talked to Bryce uh, every week. I actually was talking to Bryce yesterday. We had the same injuries. So uh, we talked about that, and uh, I told him I'd be rooting him on for the Pac-12 championship game. What are the most important things in finding the balance of being successful in most track in football? Uh, time management. Time, man time management is the best thing, and uh, just having the right people around you. Uh, 
none of that is possible without great coaches and uh, the track staff and football staff do a great job of working together to make sure I'm not overtrained. Let's talk about academics. First of all, what are you studying and why did you choose it? I'm studying in um, uh, information technology. I was actually a computer engineer and those classes were just really hard. It was a really hard workload with uh, the two sports I play. So really I still wanted to work with computers, so I wanted to go into uh, networking security or a software um, application. Okay, it must be extremely hard to balance the demands of academics and demands on being a football player. What are the most important things in finding that balance and how successful are you? Uh, going to study hall and tutoring all the time really help. And I think it really helps because even though I'm a two-sport athlete, I really only juggle both of the sports at the same time for one or two months a year. I only do both sports in January and February, so I think that really helps out a lot. Takes the snap toss by Naheem Hines, headed around the left side. He spits through, waits for his blockers, continues for it after he slipped the tackle, heads out to the far right side of the field. He's got two men to beat, Jarvin Holder is a blocker. He beats everyone. Naheem Hines, corner of the end zone. Touchdown Trojans, Larry Beck, you called it again. Okay, let's turn our attention toward our beloved Garner. What did you know about Garner before you played for Garner and got involved in Garner? What, what was your perception of Garner? Uh, it was a small town. Uh, Small town, it was like a small town love. They uh, really rallied around the football team. I had a cousin who graduated from Garner in uh, 2005. So I remember going to the games and uh, watching Josh Oglesby taking down the sidelines. So uh, I knew a lot about Garner uh, being from this area. And it was, Garner was always a school that was feared in football. And the kick is almost blocked by Britton, but it's a spiraling kick. Hines will play it on a hop at midfield. Stumble on the far side of the field. Now cut back near side has a block to the 45. Hurls an end to the 40. 35 30. Hines to the 20. Cuts it to the outside. Ooh. And Hines will never be caught. Touchdown. Boy, I tell you what, Naheem Hines cut that ball in the near side and he just outran everybody. What teachers and coaches had the biggest impact on you? Teachers and coaches. Uh, I think the biggest coaches. Uh, Biggest coaches was my father and the Carolina elite staff, uh, Coach Chris Love, Bryce's father, uh, Coach Danny Peoples, Coach Warren Marshall, and then also uh, Coach Leach, Coach Smith, and Coach Stewart. Those guys are the guys who helped me get recruited. Uh, Coach Stewart's still on the sideline for the games. Going back to Garner, I always make sure I visit Miss Cottingham. I think that's the first person that uh, really put state in my ear. I know her uh, husband's a Wolfpack member, and I'll definitely see her today when I go back. And uh, there were a lot of other teachers, like uh, Miss Benson for Spanish. She was a great teacher. It was like my first like true friend that was a teacher at uh, Garner and she helped me with Spanish a lot and I've actually been using some of her teachings in Spanish this semester. And also uh, Mr. Cook, I love Mr. Cook, loved Miss Leibowitz because she was my counselor and um, I loved Mr. Mosby. They was, all those people and um, administrators really uh, shaped me and they helped me with a lot of tough things in Garner. Any uh, interaction with the great coach Eddie Gray? Oh yes, I love Coach Eddie Gray. Um, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Every time I go, um, every time I go back to uh, Garner and see Coach Gray, he just shows me the ring. He tells me he asked me when I'm gonna win one, and uh, <laughs> he's been great. Uh, I loved him when he when he was first uh, when I first got to Garner. He was it was his last year, him and Coach Smith, and it's always great to see Coach Gray. But uh, as everybody in Garner knows, he's just a character and a very he's funny he's person. He's an entertainer. He's an entertainer, and uh, I really don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect from him anytime I see him. But he always just says. Um, Am I gonna be better than my sister one day? He just says my sister's better than me most of the time. And rightfully so. I've been chasing after my sister for 21 years now, so hopefully I'll get better than her one day. And you know Ed is a Sunday school teacher. You know that, don't you? He is? He's a good example. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, we go to the same church. Really? Well, one thing about Coach Gray is uh, he's not really much to brag. Uh, he jokes with me about the ring and winning the ring, but he's really probably one of the most humble people I know for all the accomplishments that he has. Uh, he's very humble. He actually has his own day in Garner, which I didn't know until I got to Garner, and he would never tell you that. So I think uh, he's really an example to show um, him and Scotty McCreary are really, uh, really great examples of greatness, but uh, being really humble about it. You, uh, when, when we started the interview, I mentioned the fact that you're a celebrity, and you are. Our, our other celebrity is a Scotty McCreary. Do y'all uh, interact? Yes, uh, I text Scotty. Uh, Scotty just got uh, engaged, so um, I made sure I texted him. and. Scotty's on the road a lot, so uh, I talk to him when I can. I see him when I can, and uh, we hang out sometimes when we can. But uh, Scotty's been a great influence for me because uh, no matter what happens, and Scotty's a multimillionaire, Scotty's always been just Scotty, and he's not big time or anything. He actually visited me at one of my high school games, and my family had to basically be his bodyguard for three quarters. So um, Scotty's great, and I talked to Scotty uh, this weekend. He was on the sideline just motivating me and encouraging me and telling me that we need to bring it home for Garner and just to keep representing Garner. 
The bus probably do it well. So you about to have an NC, you about to have a walk with us yeah. then. It's like normally like we're about we're coming down. Uh, you can hear the crowd from here, uh -huh. believe it or not. Like you can hear the people screaming. A lot of players, like we used to have a guy in the back last year who used to howl like a wolf. He's always been in the back. Mo, Mo graduated, so we haven't had anybody do that yet. And like the whole time, just imagine like you can hear screaming and oh, and all of that. So then we just walk down steps. I probably, I'm really goofy, so I probably almost trip over, trip down the steps a couple times. And I'm always adjusting my shoulder pads, so I'm missing step. Normally what happens. Say so this is where like there's a tarp. And like now it's really loud and you can hear people smacking the tarp, which is really cool. So this is the exact way we go down to the field all the time. We do warm ups here before the game sometimes. And then obviously, you know, the smoke comes up. A lot of times with the smoke, the first time I almost had a heart attack because it was just, I was trying to fight the smoke. So I really don't know how to deal with it still. So that's why I kind of stand in the back because I might step over somebody or trip over somebody. And I don't want NC State being on Sports Center for that team that falls out of the, uh, falls out of the tunnel entrance. And this is normally open, obviously. And then we just come out, and here's the field. And this is Fury. I touched her one time before the game, and we lost, so I haven't touched her since. But I'm, I'm very superstitious. And then here's the field. And then there's normally, like, a row of pyrotechnicians just on each hash, probably down to, like, the 20 or 30. And, um, yeah, it's really bad, because I'm probably close to it, and normally scares me and shocks me. So this is always cool. So we're starting to get a little bit into my game day and how I almost mess up, but never do it seems. Here's a field. How did your experience at Garner Magnet prepare you for the hard work that goes into successful on the field and in the classroom? Uh, Garner is a magnet school, so they had great academics. I think I learned um, a lot of uh, a lot of handy tricks to help me in college. Uh, I had I was in a couple AP, AP classes. I took hard classes, I challenged myself with um, statistics, calculus, so I feel like Garner really prepared me for things like that. Okay, you and your sister were both grand marshals for the Garner Christmas Parade. How do you feel about that? I'm honored. Uh, I didn't know that was actually possible, so my sister actually texted me and told me that we had an opportunity to do it, and uh, I told her I'd do it as long as uh, we didn't make it to the ACC championship game. Okay, you were assigned a task of, if you were assigned a task to marketing Garner, what things would you highlight? Uh, the thing I would probably highlight about Garner is um, it's an all-American city. You see that when you cross over the uh, Raleigh lines into Garner. And I think also the biggest thing in the market is the people at Garner. Uh, the people at Garner is what, make Garner, what makes Garner very special. Uh, Garner is just a city, but with its people, it makes it an all-American city. I know your family is important to you. Tell us about the support you received and continue to receive from your family and others. Uh, my family's uh, my rock. Uh, they're my biggest critics, and uh, I really don't get a lot of praise from my family. Like, uh, even after the game, I had a great game Saturday, and my dad was telling me things I could have done so I could get more yards or score more touchdowns. And uh, my sister, I think, she's always my biggest competitor because uh, my sister's probably the best athlete in the house. And uh, most people don't know that, but uh, my sister's always pushed me and driven me, even though I'm a boy and she's a girl. I think she's uh, driven me even when we were younger. She used to but play football. But y'all encourage each other, right? Yes, always. Uh, she encourages, uh, she encourages me a lot. So we, uh, we used to play football together when we were younger. We were about the same size. She used to tackle me uh, and she would motivate me. Naya motivates me and Naya, used to, Naya was faster than me until I was about 10 or 11 years old. So when you're getting beat by your sister, that's probably not cool for your friend. <laughs> and uh, I think Naya has really shaped me and who I am. She's kept me um, in a lot of things I didn't really know about. She still reminds me to do my homework. She just reminded me of that before this interview. So uh, she's always kept me uh, in great standings, I believe. But you will admit there's a rivalry between the two of you? Oh, of course. Of course, there definitely is. Um, I'm definitely, uh, Nye's had a couple of injuries and I've been motivating her with track. Uh, she's motivated me, motivated me um, my entire life. And I think with her past uh, couple of setbacks with injuries, I think I've been motivating her the past two years, but really I've been uh, chasing after Nye my first 18 years of my life. Okay, it probably wouldn't be fair if we didn't mention the NFL chances. You want to talk about that? Um, Opportunities. Uh, it's an opportunity. I've always uh, always wanted to go to the NFL. My dad made it to the NFL. Um, he got hurt, so he never got a chance to play. So that's big for me to have the opportunity. I'm going to see what the evaluation has for me. and uh, it's, pray a on it. it's a process, right? Yes, it's a process. Uh, just getting the evaluation, seeing uh, where I'm projected at, and really I'll pray on it and talk to Coach Dorn and my family about what I should do. We are appreciative. You represent us well. We're proud of that. And I hope you're proud of that too. 
Tell us a bit about Garner, how Garner shaped you as a young person. Um, the biggest thing Garner has taught me really, I think, is uh, the community goal and I am second. I still wear the bracelet today and I think really just learning that there is uh, something bigger than yourself and a community that's always backing you has uh, really helped me. Garner even still supports me today. I still go back to Garner, uh, still go to the games and uh, it really is just a great small town and hometown Good feel. Good people. Yes, great people. Hey, what's up, Garner? This is the long setback, but they hand it on a fly sweep to Hines around the left side. He's got the first down, 40 yard line, breaks free. 30 to the 20, still moving front down from behind at the 10 yard line. Naheem Hines rumbles in for his 11th rushing touchdown of the season, and the big dog is eating tonight, Larry. Let me ask a question, which is none of our business. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Very good. Have a girlfriend. Awesome. Love you, Cray. You're awesome. <laughs> Gotta get that in. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. I like it. I like it. I got you. <laughs>